Hi, I'm Wal Galbraith. I'm a part of the Ray White South Coast Group and this is your South Coast Snapshot for Week 12, 2023. The snapshot is designed to give you a bite-sized breakdown of the real estate market overall, including local, regional and city-based information across Australia. All information is sourced from the AFR, leading economists on Twitter and the Sydney Morning Herald. All information is relevant to buyers, property owners or both. There are growing signs that the RBA's aggressive tightening of monetary policy is now causing pain across the housing sector, with tumbling levels of new mortgages and home approvals. According to the Australian Bureau of Statistics, the ABS, the value of home loans fell in January by 5.3% after a 4.3% tumble in December. They have now fallen by a record 35% lower over the past 12 months. The number of first home buyers taking out a loan has fallen to its lowest level in five years. Loans to first time buyers dropped 8.1% in January after a 4.1% fall in December. These loans have fallen 57.5% since peaking in early 2021 and are now 27.5% lower than their immediate pre-COVID level. Low income and younger households will bear the brunt of the Reserve Bank of Australia's expected 10th straight interest rate rise this week and they will be forced to slash spending as their disposable income shrinks. Analysis by economist Tim Tuohy suggests the discretionary cash flow for the bottom 20% of income earners will fall sharply by about 24% in 2023. Australian Super has extended its reach into housing by funding a $920 million development of 1092 build to rent units in Melbourne through the Assemble Futures platform, which it holds a 25% stake. The country's largest super fund is putting in over 364 million, or 90% of the required 405.3 million in equity to acquire and develop the three sites across the inner ring suburbs of Brunswick, Coburg and Footscray. House prices in more than eight of 10 Sydney suburbs have fallen by at least 10% from their recent peaks, potentially pushing some homeowners who bought at the height of the boom into negative equity, data from CoreLogic shows. But the prospect of a rate pause could help limit the spread of areas where houses are now worth less than their mortgage, according to CoreLogic Research Director Tim Lawless. Homeowners in the more expensive inner Sydney suburbs were most exposed after home values slumped by as much as 28% since the start of the downturn, while those in the mortgage belt areas seem to have held on to their gains. The risk of negative equity is concentrated across the relatively small pool of borrowers who bought around the market peak, especially those who purchased with a small deposit and those borrowers who aren't paying down their loan principal, Mr Lawless stated. Reserve Bank of Australia Governor Philip Lowe says he could pause rate rises as soon as next month with the incoming data on inflation, jobs, business sentiment and consumer spending to determine whether the central bank spares borrowers from an 11th consecutive interest rate rise. Dr Lowe said on Wednesday morning that he had an open mind about what happens at the RBA's next board meeting on April 4th, despite saying that further tightening of monetary policy was needed. The financial stress that higher rates were causing households was an argument in favour of a pause, Dr Lowe told the Australian Financial Review Business Summit, revealing that mortgage repayments were poised to consume a record share of wages. The RBA Governor's statement came after Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said overnight that the cooling in the US economy appeared to have partly reversed. Mr Powell warned the markets that interest rates would have to move even higher than previously expected. Looking to make the best use of the current market or considering your financial options? If you're either expanding your property portfolio, refinancing or looking to sell your current property, get in touch with us today, we'd love to help. I'm Wal Galbraith with the Ray White South Coast Group and that was your South Coast Snapshot for Week 12, 2023. See you next week, be well, bye.